it is hot boys it is hot it's a hot boy and it is hot boys and it is it's hot that's all i can say is it's hot so for today what's going on i am bored at home and um i want to go ahead and do something to the car but it's something that if you guys are at home and you guys want to do this it's really simple to do and i'm pretty much just going to show you how to do it and basically this is just something that you guys can uh go ahead and do at home and i'll show you guys a picture of what i was sort of inspired by that way you guys can get an idea of or you know a rough idea of what i'm trying to get across with the today's video all right guys so what is going on it's another beautiful day out here in soho as usual and as you guys might be able to tell from the calendar and i'm not talking about that calendar that one's already done um i'm talking about this calendar right here we are already towards the end of may actually um so right now we are on the 18th but by the time i actually upload this video to youtube it's probably going to be way later than that so but right now it's been a couple it's been about two weeks three weeks now just at home not doing much and school's already gonna end i've already done all my final assignments i don't really have anything to do so at this point it's pretty much just a matter of staying home and hopefully getting the uh the dots and running properly and functionally so that's a major goal that we're gonna be trying to achieve this summer <laughs> hopefully but for today we're actually just gonna be doing something for the hyundai so my car is i mean it's pretty plain to be completely honest it's just a solid black color car i actually came across a picture of a r32 that's that nissan you know gunmetal that really dark gray and it actually has these bronze accents on it so all right so i'm actually talking about this r32 gtr and i actually really like the sponsors that it has here um, because they kind of look like it, it gives it a bit of a pop that copperish color on the dark on the uh, darker gray so i kind of wanted to go for something along that aesthetic and so to i figured to go ahead and do that i mean obviously the easiest thing to do would really just be to go ahead and print out the vinyl and just put it on the car but i wanted to add a little bit something more to it that would kind of be my personal taste so we're going to be painting the car's calipers and it's going to be that same copper color that way it just kind of makes it stand out a little bit more and that's something that i personally wanted to do that way you know if you guys are bored at home and you guys want to do something in your car it's something that's quick it's simple and it's really cheap to get done um, so I'm pretty much just going to show you guys the way to go about it. You can either leave the caliper on the car or you can take off the caliper altogether. I'm going to go ahead and do both. That way you guys can get an idea, a rough idea of what to expect when you do either or. So I'm actually going to head over to the cabinet. That way I can show you guys what it is that I'm going to be using for today. All right. So we're going to be needing some high temp paint. I'm going to be using this copper metallic color. The reason you want to be using the high temp paint is because your brake calipers and brake rotors, they actually get really hot. You don't want to be using any cheap or non-high temp paint because if you do it will more than likely chip off as you can tell 650 degrees fahrenheit we're going to be using this gloss clear coat with ceramic so it's going to be a ceramic coating slash clear coating uh this paint and it is also high temp so this goes up to 500 degrees so you're going to need some brake cleaner um any brake cleaner really would do and you're going to need some wire brushes these ones are actually all pretty much just muddled up from cleaning the z um the engine bay so as you can tell they're pretty bad but luckily for me, I still have one. And so you might want to go ahead and include the gloves as well. This just would make it a little bit easier for you. That way you don't get your hands too dirty. We're going to be using some uh, masking tape. And then we're going to be using some really big plastic bags to go ahead and mask off everything that we don't want to get painted, including your rotors and including your body panels. So now that you guys know what's going to be used for today's video, we're pretty much just going to be jacking the car up. That way we can go ahead and get started. So let's head over to the jack and then we'll get the car lifted. <laughs> tip guys if you guys are gonna be spray painting make sure you do it outside because you don't want to do it inside it's gonna smell really bad and if you have a boiler in your garage you're just asking for trouble because that's just gonna so spray can outside just a tip all right so now that we have them off you can see that the calipers are basically the uh stock colors which is just the silver because they're casted obviously so we're gonna go ahead and be changing that up it looks like a crab that's a trip what the hell all right buddy we have to get you off and onto the grass because we got to get some stuff done here <laughs> 
starting off with the front caliper and basically it's going to be the same thing for all of the calipers when you do this um, we're going to start off by completely cleaning them off so we're going to be using some brake cleaner first that way we can go ahead and spray it down completely and then we're going to hit it with the wire brush that way we can go ahead and start scrubbing off any of the debris or dirt that might be on there <laughs> Now that the calipers are cleaned up, now it's a matter of masking. And same thing would go like between the uh, rubber bushing that sits here for the caliper that actually holds the top part towards the bottom part, or even where your brake bleeder is at. So you wanna make sure that you cover all of this stuff up, including any bolts like this. All right, so for the masking portion, basically what I would recommend is if you can, go ahead and get anything like these big plastic bags or anything like plastic drapes that you can use for painting, you know, things that were specifically made for painting. But even then, just large, very large plastic bags work well. All right, so now behind the caliper, we're actually gonna go ahead and be looking at the two bolts that we're gonna be undoing. As you can see, there's a bolt right here that we're actually gonna be releasing. And there's actually gonna be one just below that one sitting right there. So it is gonna be this one right here as well. So for this circumstance in particular, I would recommend using a breaker bar along with a longer drive, uh, just because it is gonna be a little bit you know, harder to break that bolt. And in my particular excursion, it is gonna be an 11 16th drive. So that's what we're gonna be using to go ahead and break the bolt and be removing the caliper. So I have my bolts completely loosened at this point. All that's left to do is go ahead and uh, finish untightening them by hand and removing them. You do want to be careful with the brake line. There is pressure built up in this, so you don't want to be messing with that. Um, you could potentially just ruin your brake line altogether if you end up really damaging it. And you're pretty much just going to want to make sure that wiggle room so that this can go ahead and bend and not go ahead and flex too much. I'm going to be taking off the caliper and I'm actually going to be putting it on top of uh, this stack that I have here. All right guys, so now the calipers are off and at this point, if you guys wanna do any additional cleaning, you're more than welcome to. I would just suggest you, again, be careful with what you're trying to go ahead and clean. But if you guys wanna do any more, you know, spring cleaning on that damn thing, feel free to do so. Just go ahead and hit it with some more brake cleaner, some more degreaser, scrub it down, make sure it's dry. And once it's dry, pretty much all that's left to do is finish up masking and then it's ready for paint. So we're gonna go ahead and start uh, masking off and I'll show you guys how to mask off both ends. Yeah, so once you guys are done masking, it's pretty much gonna look like this. It's gonna look pretty colorful. Probably look like some airhead candy just wrapped around your caliper. So as long as you guys cover up anything that doesn't need to be painted, you guys will be all set. And you guys are ready for the next step. And that's pretty much just painting. Hey okay, guys, and for the rear calipers, like I let you guys know, I'm actually gonna be leaving them on the car. So in this case, what ended up happening was obviously we still wanna go ahead and leave the uh, plastic tarp around the rest of whatever we don't wanna be painted. All right, so when it comes down to the actual painting, I would recommend that you guys follow pretty much the instructions which is about two to three light coats and then doing one medium wet coat and that's pretty much going to solidify everything all together <laughs> caliber painted at this point now they're both been clear coated with the ceramic high temp coat and now all that's left to go ahead and do is let them cure all right guys so it's been about an hour since i went ahead and applied the final clear coat and i'm um, just looking at them now they are looking really well the texture is still going to be a little bit uh, malleable so you know too too much force or too much of an indent like from a fingernail or something like that might end up messing it up all right guys so we are back it's a little bit later in the day but nonetheless i just went ahead and took a shower because you can tell that the uh sun is actually starting to go down we're hitting golden hour boys this is when you're gonna look the finest you're gonna look i'm still pretty ugly but 
Um, but all we're gonna be doing right now is putting on my shoes. I'm gonna actually put everything back onto the car to go pick up some new oil for the car. Let me get my shoes on, put everything back on the car, go get some oil, and then we'll be done. So I did let a little over the uh, two hours go by and as you can see, the calipers look really good. Honestly, they look really nice with this color. I got a little bit of paint on my finger, but it's all good. That's what happens when you poke your nose. <laughs> Um, so now all that's left is to go ahead and take off like the masking tape and once the masking tape is out We're gonna go ahead and mount the caliper back on the rotor and then we'll get the wheels mounted and that's all it is really All right, so all in all guys, I mean aside from obviously the uh, hub here for the rotor the caliper came out really good looking um, Honestly, I'm very happy with the result uh, for the most part getting it off really gives you a lot more cleaner look uh, Just because you do get it get a lot of spot. Um, so I like how this one came out in particular really well so when we are actually looking at the rear caliper it actually does not look bad either it came out really well um, so again if you are willing to go ahead and take the time to go ahead and mask everything up properly then you know you can make the thing look really well that's completely up to you i personally really like it i did not get any overspray and because of that i'm very happy but results may vary so just be careful when you guys are doing this because you might get overspray on the rotors if you guys are not taking off the rear caliper i actually did get slight overspray and here's my neighbor with the slammed honda civic that's rattling you can hear it <laughs> and there's his car The calipers are pretty much done and that is the uh, vinyl that I ended up doing so Apex is actually the wheel brand that I have and video is my exhaust so on and so forth as you can see a lot nicer especially when you see it as a full oh it's kind of dark but I mean you guys kind of get the idea <laughs> but I'll be posting pictures of it uh, where it'll look a lot nicer on Instagram so if you guys want to check those out feel free to go ahead and follow me or go ahead and check out my instagram i'll go ahead and leave the link for that down below all right guys so it's actually the next day i am sorry about this i know it's been like at this point three days for this video to get it done but i actually finished getting the uh, vinyls onto the car so those vinyls i'm actually really happy with the way that they turned out i feel like it just accents the car really well and it's not something that's really like crazy in your face Shout out to Stephanie. Thank you, Steph, for your assistance with the cricket. You are a master at the cricket. So, you know, anybody who might need any assistance with the cricket, hit up Stephanie. That's my girlfriend's sister-in-law. But, you know, we're going to charge a fee. We need that commission. Um, for today's video, that's pretty much going to be it. I actually have the Datsun's uh, gas tank inside of the trunk right now. I'm about to go take it to a radiator shop. They're going to go ahead and acid treat it. So that'll be coming up in the next video. But besides that, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to go ahead and leave a like. Let me know what you guys thought about the uh, painting of the calipers and what you guys think of the accent of that burnt copper orange all in all. But besides that, guys, that's going to be all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, it's a beautiful day out here in Soho.